we're going to make our way up to stand for a foot exercise to stretch the top of the foot out. I'll stand facing you just so you have a good view. Feet hip distance apart. I'll start by crossing my right foot over. And then I'm going to tuck my booty under like a scared puppy, push my pelvis forward, deeply bend my knees, and my back leg shin is going to push into my front leg's calf. Notice the top of the foot is on the ground. I'm pointing my toes, so I'm kind of on the top of my toes. And I'm stretching my point, stretching the top of the foot. Breathe with me here. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Good. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Keep your chin up. Don't look down. That's going to cause strain in the neck. Focus a little higher than eye level and soften that space between the chin and the chest. Widen your collarbone and pull your shoulder blades together. Keep your belly in towards your spine and lift up way below the belly button on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Go ahead and switch sides. Crossing the other leg over, being mindful of bending the knees so you have more balance in this precarious position. Tuck your booty under and drive the hips forward. If you find you keep losing your balance, feel free to go by a wall to do this. It doesn't have to be a balance exercise. It's more about finding flexibility and strength in the feet, stretching out the top of the foot so that we can combat that supination that's prevalent in sway back posture. As you're breathing here, deep inhales and exhales. Again, inhale. Sigh it out, exhale. Two more breaths here with me. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. We'll let that go. We're going to stand with our feet hip distance apart. Let's start by stepping our right foot back just a foot. So we're in what I call a staggered stance. This is not a lunge. You don't want to step that back foot back so far. You're in a lunge. It's only one foot back. Bend your knees. And again, you can, let's find a neutral pelvis here. So somewhere between tucking your butt under like that scared puppy and arching your low back. So the position between extension and flexion, between rounding and arching the back, pull the core in towards the spine. Bend your knees, and since we, we stepped our right foot back, we're going to be twisting and punching over our left leg. So inhale, prepare, exhale, twist, punch. Two, three, four. So notice, as I'm working, I'm going to keep going that my hips are not turning with me. The rotation is from the top of the rib cage, and what this does, this isolation of the upper body and stabilization of the lower body allows us to recruit the deepest layer of the core, the TVA, the transverse abdominus, building strength in the core and finding pelvic stability, which helps keep the low back safe. Keep that pelvis neutral, keep your knees soft, twist and punch, two, three, four. Inhale, center, two, three, four. Exhale, twist, two, three, Four. And notice it's I'm doing as many as I can on my exhale, as many punches as I can, and then I'm pausing on my inhale to check in to make sure that space between my chin and my chest is soft. My shoulder blades are pulling together, not apart. I'm puffing my upper back and shoulder blades back instead of leaning forward. My knees are soft. I'm not locking them out. I'm twisting and I'm letting my head turn with my upper body. I'm not leaving it behind. Finish up the set you're on, and then step your back leg in. Soft bend in the knees. We're going to step our left leg back a foot now. Staggered stance on the other side. Soft bend in the knees. Now we're twisting to our right. Things to watch out for. You can begin. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, twist, punch. Two, three, four. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, twist, punch. Two, three, four. Keep that going. Things to watch out for. Forward lean. Let's avoid that. Put your backpack of cement on. Imagine you're wearing it. You can't lean forward. Watch out for the pelvis. It's going to want to turn to the right as well. You're going to have to use your lower abs, your obliques, to keep it centered. Those bony protrusions are shining like headlights to the wall in front. They're not twisting with your torso. This is a great exercise to get out any anger to. Just be mindful that your abs are always engaged that you're puffing your shoulder blades back, not allowing them to pull apart and round forward. 
Your chin is lifted. You're turning your head in the direction you're punching. You're not pushing the belly out. You're actively pulling it in towards the spine, lifting up way below the belly button on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Continue on. Make sure the bones of your big toes are heavy. We're not supinating. We're not rolling out in our feet. Finish up this set you're on, and then we're going to let that go. We're going to move into some balance work for injury prevention and strength in our butt muscles. So we're going to be moving in the frontal plane, that side to side. We'll begin on one side of our mat. Let's all come to the right side of our mat. Bring our hands to our hips. Inhale, prepare, feet hip distance apart. Exhale, we're gonna sit back into a squat and we're gonna take three squat walks with parallel legs and a deep lift to the core. To the left, one, two, three. On the third, I want you to kick your right heel to your butt, finding a single leg squat without coming up out of the leg, without standing up on that left leg and locking the knee out. You're still low in your single leg squat. Breathe with me. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. If it doesn't hurt the back, you can take the arms up to shoulder flexion. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Standing up on that single leg, bring the right leg down. Soft bend in the knees, hands down by your side. Inhale, prepare. Hands either to the hips or in shoulder flexion as you walk to the right this time. Three squat walks. One, two, three. Find your single leg squat. Hold. Inhale one, breathe, exhale one, inhale two, exhale two, puff the shoulder blades back, inhale three, exhale three, standing up on that single leg, left leg comes down, soft bend in the knees, inhale, prepare, brace the abs, exhale, sitting back into your squat, walking three times, one, Two, finding your balance on the left leg. Right heel kicks towards the butt. You can point the toes, those right toes as they kick towards the butt. Puff your shoulder blades back. Pull your low belly in. Inhale, feel your pelvis ground down towards the floor. Exhale, feel your inner thighs pull back towards the wall behind you. Keep your gaze up. Soften the space between the chin and the chest. Stand up on that single leg. Final set. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, we sit back. We walk. Two, three. We kick the left heel to the butt, finding our balance on the right leg in our single leg squat, holding. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two. Inhale three. Exhale three, standing up. Step at to the top of your mat, feet hip distance apart. Firm your core, step your right leg back into a lunge, hands to the hips, lift up way below the belly button on the muscles that stop your stream of pee, lowering the back knee down. From here, we'll lie on our stomach. I'm going to take my right hand and put it under my forehead so that I have kind of a little pillow for my forehead, kicking my left heel to my butt with my legs hip distance apart. Keep your legs hip distance apart. Make sure the pelvis is is anchored to the floor. Those bony protrusions of your hips are shining like headlights to the floor. Your belly is in. Kicking the left heel to the butt and grabbing the ankle. You can always grab an article of clothing or a towel to put around and to hold if you're unable with your hand to grab if it's too tight. But for the most part, this is going to just stretch out the top of the knee after those single leg squats in case your alignment wasn't perfect. And you're going to point the toes just to continue to work the feet. Keep breathing here. Deep lift to the core. And let's go ahead and release that leg. Switching sides. Setting up. Kicking the heel to the butt. Pointing the toes. Beautiful. Hold it. Breathe with me. Inhale two, three, four, and exhale two, three, four. Inhale two, three, four, and exhale two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. One more breath here. Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. You can release that. Rolling off to one side, coming up to a comfortable seated position. Great work.